Yo ho fellow pirates, how are y'all doing today? Hi to Danston, hi to Orange, hi to Rem, hi to Ritu, hi to John, hi to Coyote, hi to everyone in chat currently. How are you all doing? I might be a little bit exciting, I might be a little bit excited because like half an hour ago I was making a clip, hi Marco. I was making a clip and for some reason, for something, I was making a season two clip and no, let me go click to the wrong, to the correct screen. And I got myself a legendary Warhammer. There it is. There it is. There he is. No, there it is. Haha. <laughs> I got myself a Warhammer, people. I got myself, just before season two ended, I got myself a legendary Warhammer. Now I just need to figure out what I want to do with it. Do I actually want to replace my Warhammer um, or do I do, or, or am I not gonna do that? Because I do really like this ultimate skill and this new one doesn't have it. So that would change up my build. But I haven't decided yet because I was busy making the video. Um, that video will probably be out later today or maybe in the beginning of tomorrow, but that will be out today. So uh, that's a good one to have finally done. I've been working on that for weeks now. Gold plank gets costly. Yes, yes, gold plank gets co it's gonna get costly. How much do I have? Let's see. Well, I got 400, so. But now I have a flagship, a stormbringer, and a warhammer legendary. Yeah, those gold, th those, those gold ones are gonna get very, very costly very, very quickly. I forgot to put on the music. Let's put on the music as well, the background. Let me know if this is too loud or is this is, is good background volume. Um, yeah, so today, uh, this week, is gonna, it has been an exciting week, even though that the season two is ending for us. Um, it's still possible to go to the season two map, but I got myself to the season one map just before stream as well as part of the video. Um, but uh, yeah, season two map is ending, there's not much to be done, but all of a sudden they have dropped a new event. It's called Sea of Conquest. That's why it's exciting, Denston, that's why it's exciting. And there's another reason why it's exciting, and I'll be coming up to that later. But I do like the fact that we've got a new, uh, a new event. You traded more this week than you had the whole month. Yeah, well, I'm always trading. You know me, I'm always trading. So um, that's the that's that's also the reason why I still have 70 million. And I upgraded my flagship to 27 this week and all of the other ships to 27 and I still have 76 million. So, um, and about 40 million in tokens, maybe 45. So <laughs> I got enough gold. Um, no, but the season, Sea of Conquest event, it's, it's so weird that they calling the event the same name as the game is called, because then you don't know what you're talking about. But at least this event, this, for me, I think this is a very exciting event. Why? Because we get to meet up with people that we wouldn't have otherwise. Look, we're paired to server 88. I haven't... In this case, I do know a person on server 88. We've been DMing a lot uh, about the game and she's asked a couple of questions. So it's fun that I now get to uh, go compete against her tomorrow morning um, on this event. So that's why I think it's exciting. I don't know how the game's gonna be. I don't know it's gonna be, but, but the speculations and the planning, I think that's a very exciting thing. Uh, Rem says I just woke up at 2 a.m. because a friend of mine, uh, as we, was just a few hours in season three he loaded a rolled a, st a gold stormbringer did he wake you up with that news did he <laughs> well it is good news if you have one um uh, hi bob my server is a week into season two now how did you get how do you get ship blueprints i got two from the rogue chest but how else um yes there is an event that also uh, i don't have it anymore because mine mine closed out but there is also an event in here where you can uh, make uh, do do sort of quests to to make progress on the on that progress bar that is in here. Um, those will also have some hammers and some blueprints if you get further into that. But the main reason, yes, the main reason is 
not the main reason. The main source of getting your blueprints is from the Rogue Rumble. I've been doing that myself each week. And um, when I scrap one, I also usually need 15 hammers. So those are also what I buy. So those are uh, where my season two uh, uh, Rogue Rumbles have gone to. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I was doing. Uh, Rogue chest events and packs. The, yeah, yeah, packs. Also, don't forget the packs. Um, wasn't sure if there's a plundering way or missing something. No, 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 show. Sure. No, uh, it's it's a definitely uh, a limited way to get them. And if you were lucky, then it is big news. So uh, that's why I was very excited. Um, uh, Marco is nice. Do testing, which is better using black or or freedom parts for Warhammer. I'm still confused. I go for pure impact or just cutthroat. Yes, that's the other thing, Marco. Uh, not just Marco, but to everyone here. Uh, Tarashit, Tarashirit. Hi, Bob. Say, uh, says hello, Bob. I said hi, Tarashirit. How are y'all doing? Just like Firas and Mehmet. How are you guys doing? Um, no, but what also is very excited and that's why i'm mostly exciting denston i know that you weren't excited by season two ending but that's why i'm excited because it may have gone that we found how impact is calculated and with found i mean uh the the person from server 88 that i matched right here um, has been messaging the VIP Discord that you're only getting with high VIPs. Um, and they finally got an answer. How does impact calculate? How is impact being calculated? And we now have a calculation. And based on that calculation, no, that's that those are my clips. Um, and based on that calculation, I made I sort of made this overview. Let me let me reframe it a little so you're not uh, i do want to say flashbang <laughs> alert there's a flashbang coming incoming because that's this is the only thing i can do um but your impact if your impact is the same as the armor of the opponent your damage is halved so whatever damage you did before this calculation it's halved um, as soon as your damage goes up to like uh, a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, 1.5 over it, you will do 60% damage and the reduction will be gone down to 40. This is uh, limited to how much is um, how much is it more? How, more? how much more is your impact? So it's a direct correlation. If it's one in five, no, it's like a zero in four in this calculation, you will still do 80% damage. But if you were to say it's like 500 to, uh, I think that's then 2000. Yeah, 2000, then the, what, that will be the same. So if your impact is four times as high as your as their opponent's armor, you will do 80% damage. So what does this mean? That means if your opponent has 5% more in armor than you, you have, you have impact, it will get, uh, you will lose another 1%. If you have 5% more, you will, um, how's it called? Uh, you will, uh, you will, you will gain another 1.2%. If you have higher values, those percentages are, are shorter. So this is what we've been, uh, uh, working with um, if you want to know the formula it's uh, this is the formula it's uh, impact divided by one plus the impact plus the armor and then a bracket close that's that's what it is so let's let's call it let's call it it's impact divided by bracket open one plus impact plus armor if you want to do your own calculations with this that's what the formula is supposed to be yes hashtag numbers yeah i where's where did the scene go i think i think i somehow lost the scene 
of where 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 the mad overlay was coming from but <laughs> this is what this is what we've got and and this is why i'm excited because now we know what impact does and i like to know things i like to know the numbers behind it and that's why i was excited this week um so let's see what the chat's been saying. Let's do it, Bob, tomorrow. Let's sync them. Yes, the, the Sea of Conquest event. Uh, let's go uh, uh, Let's go have a good fight with 88, but end up victorious in the end. Uh, by the way, you can buy Warhammer on the common market. Yes, you can buy uh, a Warhammer in the Season 1. I don't think you can buy a Warhammer anymore in Season 2. I don't think I've seen that. But uh, Marco, I like CT. Um, CT as in... The cutthroat set to Kojo with his double hit or high rank golds when you're firing multiple skills, blade of freedom otherwise for generic impact and attack personally. Yes, I am going for a blade of freedom set on my Warhammer because I don't personally like Kojo and I'm very defensive so that's why I got a Lulu on there. And uh, because I have Lulu on this ship, um, she benefits from the Blade of Freedom set, but she wouldn't benefit as much from the uh, from the Cutthroat up upgrade set. So that's why I got her. That's why I got the, a Blade of Freedom set on this. And yes, it might be good for testing to compare this Warhammer against a, the legendary Warhammer, um, and then maybe get rid of the impact. Because the impact is only as good as um, yeah as, as your opponent's armor. It's not a, a straight reduction. Uh, when it's equal to your opponent's armor, you lose 50%. That's, that's basically it. And 5% increase is like a 1% increase in actual value. So, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Just make sure that your impact isn't l lower than the average opponent's armor and i think then that's the biggest thing so i don't think impact has the biggest impact let's just say that um all good buddy how are you i'm fine i'm fine as i said i'm very excited about these numbers because i think i think i've seen like 150 200 messages in uh, uh, uh comments of my video on the uh, it, it, the discord with the general discord questions i've seen like hundreds or dozens or hundreds of questions about what does impact do and now we finally have some sort of an answer um that's that's just because of that so it's it's very good um martin says why don't we have a gang auction from the start of the patch uh, we are at end of season two yes it's the same for me um, I don't have a gang auction as well, but when I go to another character that I have made on another server, this test one, and once I spawn in, I'm probably attacked and uh, I, I got sunk probably. <coughs> Sorry, apologies. <clears throat> yeah, there we are. I got sunk again. Every time I go to this character, it's it's being sunk. For some reason, people like sinking level... What's it? What, what, what's the ship? It, level 6 players. Um, yes, yeah, so what do I want to show? Yeah, I wanted to show the gang. Loot auction. This this server does have it. And I don't, I don't have it. We don't have it on the other ones. But since this uh, gang I'm with is, is very low, I don't think there's actual any acti any, actually any activity on there. But... Um, it is there on older servers, but not on the newer ones. So, um, yes, uh, Martin, because of the devs, many folks are upset. What can we do? Yes, we don't know. We can't do anything. Um, what do you guys think of my new treasure cove? I've been, I, I made one here first, but I thought, well, that's a little bit too far away from my port. Let's, jo let's just put them in the middle of the port exit. So, um, what do you guys think of my treasure cove? It's starting to grow again. Um, uh, Martin says it's stupid. Ahoy, captains! We add fusion trinkets that you can always uh, that you always wanted, uh, but wait, you can you can't get it because you have to obtain starlight gravel, and this is so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's not really good. But also, I don't know how much how much extra value is that 
golden hook trinket, for example. Because, um, let's go look at them. Uh, heroes, trinkets, archive, here. The basic tyrant's hand, un not upgraded, will, uh, will be attack 18%. A fully upgraded one from the purple one will also be 18% so the upgrade itself isn't gonna bring you anything so after that do you want to start upgrading it even more because yes then it goes up to 30% but there is no direct need to a direct benefit to getting that 18% if this were to start at 20% then I would be like, yeah, okay, yeah, there, at least there's a benefit from combining two and going to the one. But I also want to say to anyone that has been doing it, uh, that has wanted to do it, uh, I think I need to give a warning to people. Uh, let's see if we can find two trinkets. That's a 40 and that's a... Here, let's remove this trinket from him. And remove the trinket from Cordelia. Those are both level 50 fully enhanced purple trinkets. Now let's go to the fusion. I can now fuse them. But look, it's level 1. So I don't think you ever want to upgrade any trinket that you already leveled. I don't know how this goes because I can't do it because I don't have the, the, the amount the gravel that you need or, or anything. But if you if you upgrade this, it looks to me like those levels that you put on there are lost at this moment. I don't know if you can get it back, but I'd be careful doing this. So that was how, that was what I was looking at. Or, uh, and that's why I'm I'm not being overly confident about actually going to do that the only reason that i would say is a benefit from going to uh, uh to a legendary one is in my opinion the eagle shield and why because the eagle shield as we said earlier it's armor 14% aggro 16 and it goes up to 20% and 40 and yes, the base is still the same, 20% and 40. But you can go up to 50% and 88 aggro. And I really, really, really like my aggro on my flagship. And I need as much as I can get. And why not go for the rudder? Because the rudder, uh, the ship under the wielder's command gains advancement and reinforcement every 10 seconds. And in the battle, which will increase the ship's aggro by a 60. So every 10 seconds, it will trigger. But it will only last for 3. So 7 seconds of that time, so 70% of the time, you won't have this aggro. So that's why I think an, an, a legendary eagle shield that you want to maybe upgrade later will be better than a golden rudder. Because this isn't always the case and yes the damage re the damage reduction is is a good thing to have as well but when you have as high armor as i have and um a flagship that has i think i have my sailing speed sail on there let's go to the sovereign armor there we go no go back I have almost, I have more than 4k armor on this. If I were to actually go upgrade some of, uh, change out some of these trinkets, I even had this at f like 5,000 last week. So why would I want to have more armor? Why would I want to have more damage reduction? I want this ship to be targeted instead of all these three. These three. It's. I think that's more important to have my flagship get receive the damage so that it actually does something. The Ahab shield, it's 6 million HP, but the Ahab shield um, uh, only lasts five seconds. So I have to make sure that I at least get 13%. So let's say that's, that's like 1 million HP in damage in those five seconds. 
So please attack my flagship because he will he can take it. So that's why I wanna I want more armor, uh, aggro, but not necessarily more attack. So that's that's what I'm saying. Um, of course, you could use the fusion to fuse to uh, fully enhanced uh, purple trinkets, get a legendary one, then scrap the legendary one and upgrade the other one. That's also a possibility. So it, that's really weird if you really need this item and you have to go have the gang auction and those gang auction you have to pay for materials to get that. I don't think it will be worth it to just upgrade purple ones to after that scrap them. So it's 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 a confusing thing and I would like to have more information for you guys. But yeah, it, I think it's only a big, a, a, a big wheels can afford it. Yeah, I think that the, the feature is mainly so as soon as everyone has trinkets and has good trinkets, um, that they will still be using the conscious on the trinkets. That's what the reason why they did it. They still want to have these these trinkets being used. Let's get another purple one. Which one would it be? Since since I got myself the guaranteed one. Another hook. Never a good, never a bad thing to get a hook. But um, yeah, I don't think they want to have people. They want to uh, entice people. To keep to keep use getting these trinkets to keep getting the other ones better. That's also the reason why this upgrade ha this update has been in there, enhancing legendary ships. You can if you had now have more than one legendary ship, you can now actually enhance the ship. So that means that I can select one skill, I can. Click on the other legendary ship that I want to replace with. And yes, I got myself two legendary Stormbringers. I've been very lucky this season. I, I, I actually didn't buy, do that many, um, uh, build that many ships, but I got extremely lucky. Um, it will increase my capacity, which will directly impact my HP. And one of these three skills will be placing out, will be replacing the skill that I selected. So. It will be random, and this is a drowning skill, so I don't want to put the drowning skill on my blazing Stormbringer, so I'm not gonna do it. But I'm still hoping that in a future update, it comes so that we can use both two Stormbringers uh, on one team, because this one is increased drowning damage and decreased blazing damage, and this is increased blazing damage and decreased drowning damage. So I really want to have two legendary Stormbringers in my setup when I for some end up at like um, uh, level 31 in season 4. I don't think that will be happening in season 3, but maybe season 4. Uh, when I get that extra ship, I would love to have two Stormbringers in there. Um, yeah, so um, let's see what I missed in chat. Um, so we are right to have main ship as tank ship. Yes, I think that the main ship should be, that your flagship should be a tank ship. Um, not everyone is on that opinion, not everyone is using that, but I th it, it's working out for me fantastically. Um, that's basically the comment there, Anyone said, everyone said it, I don't know what you're talking about. Please explain which is better, new level 21, the level, 20, level 25 or 21 ship parts, damage or attack bonus, or uh, other main stats. I think when you have a hero on your ship that uh, also, when you also have a healer on this ship, go for attack because the attack stat will also benefit Cordelia because Cordelia's heal is dependent on the attack of the ship she's on. So if you go to that and you do attack, then Cordelia would also benefit from an attack uh, ship part. But if you don't, and if you have three heroes that are on there, just go with. Uh, then you should go with damage. That's my opinion. I think the damage is a way um, uh, The attack is a way more um, uh, How do you call it when it's a uh, diluted it's way more diluted um, um, Then uh, then the damage stat um, Hi uh, UK UK Bob <laughs> as we call him. Hi um, 
Is it the Bob stream now? Yeah, yeah, we're 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 Bob and Bob and 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 everyone's called that Bob. Um, the big problem with this gang auction is the costs. It's anything. Uh, if anything, it's very expensive. Probably to reach hundred items. Uh, to be able to fuse trinkets, you need to spend a lot of emeralds. Um, yes, starlights is, cost about ten gems in auction for us, so that means ten k gems to up actually upgrade the trinket. Yes, that is what the problem is, and um, uh, that's why I'm saying it won't be. It it will be a whale thing, of course, but to upgrade them, to fuse them, to then scrap a legendary one, to upgrade another one. That's something that will just not be beneficial for anything um, related to, to low spending or free to play or, or anyone. So yeah, I don't think that's that's gonna be a thing for anyone. Uh, you made four items, level one, fully ranked, waiting to be fused. Yeah, that's also what I was thinking. You know, just just make them, just just have them ready as soon as you're able to do that. Uh, I I got myself one. Uh, uh, one hook I could even do I have the items to enhance this one yes I can even enhance this one so here now now we have two level one hooks ready if we ever wanna let's let's go 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 last one yeah there it is so now I have two fully upgraded level one hooks ready for uh, uh, for when 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 the auction do comes, um, and with it being ready, I can just give it to an art to a hero for for a little bit of extra fake power. Which hero doesn't have a trinket? Does he have one? Does she have one? Does he have one? Let's get Griffin. He's high level. Swap and swap for this one. Yay, there goes another 14k of power that I'm not actually using. Um, the only way you're use, actually using it is when you're... Uh, the only place that you're actually using it is when you when you use those heroes together. Um, uh, they don't let you use two of the same ships, I'm pretty sure uh, someone tried. Yeah, it's that, that I tried it. Yummy, uh, I tried it myself. And it's not possible but i'm saying uh, i think in last week's was it yeah last week's captain log someone said something about two stormbringers in there let me see if i can quickly find it um, i don't think i can f um yeah, it would be great if developers allowed players to use two Stormbringers in the fleet, one for blazing, one for drowning damage. What do you say about that? So their answer was, that is a thrilling idea. We will consider it and see if there is a way to use the same ship in one fleet. So I'm hoping they will change it in the future. Yes, Orange, more fake power. Fake power. No, um... So I'm hoping that it will be in the future. 10k trinkets, how many? Uh, 10k gems, how many trinkets can you fuse with the material? What? One? Because it's got. Because fusing is costing you 100. He he was making the 10 gems in an auction. A starlight, uh, starlight gravel costs 10 gems. So if you need 100. I, I, starlight gravel. Cost 10 gems in auction for us. What a bullshit deal. I don't think that math is correct, right? If you if one starlight gem is costing... If one starlight gravel is costing uh, 10 gems... 4k gems for 50 gravel. What happened? OBS fell. Am I still there? Can anyone still hear me? For some reason, OBS started to do crazy st things. Am I still live? Can can someone confirm if I'm still live? Because OBS started to do weird shit. You're still here. That's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah. Um, I also want to know the price because now we're just speculating and we don't have have we don't have any idea what what your uh, your backup. Oh, so I was actually gone. Um, at least good thing that I'm here. Um, um, 
Marco says, now should I keep my Blade of Freedom for Warhammer or change it by now? Um, that depends what heroes you have on it. If, if you have, like me, have also have a Lulu on there, then yes, but... Um, uh, then, then if you have a Lulu on there, yeah, then yes, put put the Blade of Freedom set on there. But otherwise, you can just switch it out. Um, yes, the Zorin says, if heals, use Blade of Freedom. Yes. Uh, nah, yes, one Starlet for well, 100 Starlet for 10k gems. Oh, for Jar saying that it's actually going to cost 10k gems, then I'm not going to be uh, spending anyone. Uh, the rudders don't stack. We tested it. Change to a shield. Rack up the rudder. Rank up the rudder. Um, yes, the, 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 the rudders don't seem to actually shield. Um, Rem was saying, Bob, my main, flag, my main ship is old Ahab, Ed and Magnus. I have two golden rudders. Would you put one on old Ahab and one on Magnus or stay the same rudder on Ahab and shield on Magnus? We did try to do some testing, but Coyote, uh, that testing was before the, one point, the, the 170 update. Because the 170 update changed some things in aggro. So we might have to do the testing again. Um, and see if they now do stack. But um, f before the update, they didn't stack. In the 170 update, they changed some things about aggro. When Magnus came in, they changed some aggro things. To make aggro actually work. And um, in the 180 update, they changed... The, they changed the amounts because this 20% armor wasn't 20% before, I think. Because they now changed it so that the upgraded Eagle Shield is at least as good as the Golden Rudder. And the upgraded Hook for 18% is at least as good as the Spyglass. Because the Spyglass used to be way lower in this case. It, would, it was like... like, like 12% or, or 8%, I don't know, it will probably be somewhere on the stream, uh, on, 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 uh, on, on the VODs in the history. But it was a very low percent, and I think the, the, the percentage was higher. So it was better if, uh, if you were in battle for the full 15 seconds. But it, it now changed to, to actually be uh, equal, at least equal, to a, to a tyrant hand, or a hook, or however you call them. Um, so yeah, they did a lot of changes to them in the la the, to aggro and to the trinkets in the last, um, what's it called? Like, like, like three weeks. And I think the testing I did with Ugo uh, was before that. And the only testing that we did was actually record the screen attacking, then watch them attack freighters and then play it back in slow motion and then count all the all the all the cannons that were 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 uh, targeting a specific one. So yeah, that's that's <laughs> it. It isn't the best. Um, it isn't the best way of testing it. But that was what I was testing earlier with Uga, and that didn't work then. But again, that was like uh, the beginning of season two for us. So that's like a month, a month, a month, five, six weeks ago, I think. Uh, what's the easiest way to farm gold in season two apart from trading you need 26 million for level 29 um, well you can um, you can try to make uh, um, try to sink people on the wanted list uh, that's a that's a quick way of getting gold you can also get um, um, no not this one. Uh, where is it? You can also use the black market things. Um, that's also a place where you can get a lot of things. Um, yes, but the main place where I get my gold, and I think that's also a thing that, that everyone does, is from trading. So try to find a good trade route. Maybe go back to season one for, for oh, when you go overnight. And then, because I've been in the beginning of season two, I had better... Uh, better trade routes on um, I had better trade routes on, on season 1 than I had on season 2 so that's 
so maybe when you go overnight or you know you're going to be out in like uh, in for like for like for like 10 hours and you're going to bed for for a couple hours or have to go to, to school or work um then uh then go to the season one map and uh as soon as you're able to play again go back to season two map but yeah that is up of course dependent if your um your breach is open during those times so yeah the, um with our season ending i think the breach is open permanently um does any of us of, of from our server or 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 Denston or or any any nil people know um, if you have high infamy, can you still not go through it? I don't know. I don't I haven't done it myself. I have like zero infamy, so um, So yeah, uh, Grasso says hello. Hello Grasso. How are you doing? And the same to star. How are you doing? Um, for Jaris, what is the, oh, the easiest way to farm gold? I just answered that and did you get all the new ship parts? No, I didn't and I hate that because let's go look at them. I don't have a flag of a, a sail. I do have a, a a helm. I also have a figurehead, but I don't have a cannon. So yeah, I have two out of four. So yeah, no testing for me right now. Not yet, at least. So yeah, sorry, can't test, can't tell you. Um, Leo is talking to Grasu in, I think, another language. Um, can you please keep the language in English? Because I do have to moderate the chat myself and I don't speak a lot of Ang other languages than, uh, than English. So um, no, no, no problem, no problem. But try to keep it in English because I need to moderate the chat a little bit for people that do try to say crazy things. Um, I don't think you're saying something crazy, but for other people's might. Uh, how's your experience with season two so far? And what you, how, uh, what are you excited about in season three? Well, what I'm excited about in season three is that there's gonna be another ship because now I have a legendary Stormbringer too. And I also have a legendary Warhammer. So I need to try my luck on that new legendary one. Um, and that ship is gonna be an artillery focused ship. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I know it's not the same here, but it looks like this. So it also looks kind of epic. I don't know why, why the, sh the emblem of a season three ship is in the season highlights for season two, but uh, this is how it looks. And I'm very excited about, uh, about that. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious about um, what I can do with this, what, what this build that I got on the Fearless Princess right now, Ophelia Sharky Queen Lanting, with an extremely high, um, let's see, where is it? Crit damage. So I don't, I didn't get much crit rate, but it's crit damage. This, this is just really insane. Um, yeah, so, um yeah i wanted to know how how much of this crit damage did we can we actually do and uh yeah that's that's um that's a good thing so i'm excited about that uh also i'm excited about one of the new two new heroes uh one hero obi um he is um uh, going to be replacing my cursed ad so yeah, he's going to be replacing my cursed ad. What I also like about the fact that he has uh, a skill that triggers off of armor instead of all of the heroes triggering off of attack, off attack, off attack, and this is all off attack. Even the even the healers are of the ship's attack. Lulu of the ship's attack. Everyone, apart from Ahab, which is of the ship's max HP, all of the other heroes are um, uh, sorry. Uh, all of the other heroes are based on attack, and um, I like the fact that 
we now get at least a hero that does um, uh, that does the same that that does something different that procs up something else. So with with him being on um, with him being on the the, the season uh, no, the the armor, it actually brings in more strategy and it brings in more thinking about it. Uh, Grasso for the to, to say the, sa the same. Please try to keep the, the chat in English and not other no other languages. Um, that's generic uh, blade of freedom, Bob. Uh, that's new twenty ones all slot. Yeah, the new twenty ones get a lot of uh, crit hit, uh, crit damage, and crit hit. Um, I also made this this week. Um, this is all of the ship sets that I have. And these ship sets um, and the base damage that they do. I try to look at everything that is new, new ship parts. So a new ship part for level 20 gives, uh, with the plus 15 plus bonus, gives 250 base attack. 21 gives uh, 312 and 25 gives 375. I don't have this one myself, but I got a screenshot from someone else. Uh, figureheads gets armor bonus, crit damage, critical resistance, and critical rate. These are the only things that can be on a figurehead, as far as I've seen. Then for a helm, you can only do damage or da attack bonus. But if you go to level 25, I think then the 25 parts can also have the specific damage types. And then for sales, there's HP boost. HP bonus, armor bonus, and saving speed. The amount that you can get on the amount of stats that you main stats that you can get on these items are are way 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 lower than others because it's now not possible to get impact on a sailing uh, on a sail anymore, or get what else did we have? I have armor attack bonus on a on a sailing speed of on a sail. Um, let's see what else we got. I got 21, 18. Yeah, impact. Uh, no, this was I was already telling you guys that. Um, attack bonus, attack bonus, attack bonus, attack bonus, damage, damage. Yeah, also, all those are damage, strategic. Yeah. Uh, figureheads. Let's see if we can get. If I still have some old ones. Critical resistance. No, that's here. This used to be a thing. Impact bonus on a figurehead. That can be. Um, helms are only crit damage or crit rate now? No. Helms are uh, damage, 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 attack bonus, attack bonus, attack bonus. So that's the only thing that you can get on a helm, on a, at least on level 21 helm. Damage or attack bonus. And yes, there's crit damage in there as well. In, in those but uh, yeah um, the new cannons let's look at those all those all have crit rate so with everyone getting more crit rate oh yeah you mean figure out yeah that's that's what I'm saying it is it is still possible to get other ones because you can still get uh, crit damage crit uh, rate but you can also get critical resistance which I think is becoming more and more valuable on a defensive ship um, I even changed out my flagship from an armor bonus one to a critical resistance one. Why? Because every single new thing has crit damage. Crit damage, crit rate. All of these new ones have crit rate on, an, uh, on, a, on a cannon. So everyone's doing more crit damage with this new crit part. So... That's why I'm saying critical resistance is better than maybe even using an old uh, armor bonus one that I was doing before that. So that's that's why I changed out for uh, for the critical resistance. It's just weird that I get base impact, attack bonus, impact bonus, and crit damage, which are all offensive skills, on a defensive type of uh, figurehead or ship ship part. Which is just completely useless. All of these skills I, I barely use on, on my uh, on my ship. So yeah, 
Uh, for the flagship, you agree? Yeah, yeah. For the flagship, critical resistance is always a good thing, I think. But um, yeah, um, yeah. Um, you were asking what I was excited about in season three, but also what I was excited about in season two. Um, I think I've got myself a lot of the season two things that I wanted. Um, I unfortunately didn't get myself an Adeline, but I'm not using drowning damage, so I didn't focus on her. Um, what I am very excited about is the fact that I got myself a rank 5 Tanaka this week. I got myself another rank. Um, and I got my uh, trinket for Tanaka up to level 80. And uh, I also upgraded a couple of other legendary ones that I got. for, uh, And I scrapped those and I upgraded in this one. And this 290% uh, attack is, is just insane. I can go to straight clash and this reset for me this week so I can somehow claim all of these again. I like the fact that this gives more, it, I think this gives you more row coins weekly than it did before. So I think that's a good thing. Um, let's see who we, can, who we can challenge. Now in this case we can challenge everyone because everyone's a lower. Um, so I, this, these fights are going to be uh, very easy, but just look at the fact, the Stormbringer, it's going down there. And as soon as we see the, um, there it goes, it's down, it's done, everyone's done. It does so much damage, and in this case it was a very weak opponent. But let's go to someone who is equal level than me. Let's see what this fight does. If we go to two times speed, and as soon as the Tanaka goes, there it goes, 66, 62, 61. It did like 30% damage. Now another one, and we're down to 27%. And can we get another one in? There we go, and it's done. That's three triggers of, um, uh, that's three triggers of, uh, of that, of that, uh, of Tanaka, and it's just insane. Um, I don't know if can I beat that guy. I haven't fought him with him in a while. Let's try. I said, let's try. <laughs> He's a level thirty. He's a level 30. This is going to be a tough fight. This is going to be a tough one. Let's see how far we can go. I do want to slow down to 1% and we're doing this. He's doing more base damage. I'm going down. I'm going down. And now my Tanaka triggers. And oh, that damage. That damage is insane. He's already down one ship. Guys, I actually am punching up like two and a half levels right here. This is actually insane. He has a very tanky flagship though. <laughs> I do have to say that. He has a very tanky flagship. And there he goes. So yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's like, I'm a level 27, but someone on level 30, uh, I'm beating people on level 30. So yeah. I have no idea how it's possible, but in straight clash, my power goes up to uh, 20 mil 20 million and 175,000. But if I go look at the overview of my fleet power, it's only 17.9. So I have no idea why my fleet power is like 2.2 million uh, more on, my, on the straight clash than it is on normal battle. But I, ha I have no idea how, but I'm loving it. Um, um, and, and I think everyone's having a little bit of increase in the straight clash from power uh, compared to their, their normal fleet power. But in this case, 2.2 million, that's the biggest leap I've seen. I've seen people that have three, 400,000, but 2.2 million, I have no idea how I'm doing that. But I'm loving the fact that I can just hit anyone that isn't level 31, let's just say that, because that big, that fourth ship of their fifth ship is like insane. But um, yeah, let's let it's just crazy 
how, how Tanaka uh, can do an insane amount of damage. He also triggered a Tanaka and you can see it did uh, a very high damage to me. Um, but my Tanaka was um, yeah maybe even more powerful than his. So yeah, I, I'm I'm loving the fact that that um, that I have such a such a insanely strong Tanaka now with with a level 80 trinket and uh, everything that's in there. I'm 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 loving that. So that's that's something that I really 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 enjoy from my uh, season two experience so far. Um, yeah, what's uh, what's going on? Uh, is Adeline worth it? In drowning damage seems to be the worst. That depends on what setups you got, what heroes you got. Um, I when I started at my season two, I didn't have much. Um, I don't. I, th I don't think I even had a barnacle. I think I somehow got this. Uh, I think I got my barnacle from the end of season rewards that I had on season one, and then during season two. I got myself another rank in there by just uh, doing these normal conches. Um, but yeah, I don't. I, I've never used it. I don't like the fact that it's focusing on the highest uh, HP ship. I, I don't like. Why is my is my game lagging? Why is my ship in the middle of the? But the timer's going down. So yeah, I think my game's lagging. Um, can we refresh? That's just. Go back to another character real quick and we'll 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 switch out then and pro probably refresh uh yeah drowning is the is not it's 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 definitely the worst for me because i don't have the good good enough heroes to actually do that setup um but i do have um uh, but i but i do have better blazing heroes so i always used my blazing heroes i never focused on my drowning um yeah but I did hear that Adeline, uh, with the rage restoration that she has, yeah, is is very good. I can't confirm that firsthand because I don't have her. I would love to have actually firsthand experience with with some things, um, but no, I don't have her, so I can't give you any of that information. But I have heard from other people that she's very good in uh, rage restoration for the rest of your ship. So yeah, that's that's true. Um, drowning set, drowning ship set is the best buff. Yes, uh, the ship part sets for the rapture of the abyss with the target ships subjected to taking on water inflicted by you will receive ten percent more damage. So that means that if you put drowning stacks taking on water effect on your opponent it will make them get 10% more damage. So that means that if your Warhammer is attacking that ship, it's also getting 10% more damage from the Warhammer. So that's a very good one if you want to buff the rest of your uh, fleet. So yes, that, that is a very good one um, when you do that. Um, the new update might have changed that, so not 100% sure, but used to be that way. I heard some folks got uh, had gotten stuck with new system. Uh, trinket level matched adventure level. Um, yeah, I don't know how about that, but I also heard that adventure level now isn't linked to uh, isn't uh, loose anymore. So the, it, it used to be limited by the amount of freighters that you hit. Because you were getting 1.5k experience, and then the, the the adventure level would go up. But now the adventure level for some people is has been connected to the max amount of adventure level you can get is now connected to Grand Odyssey chapters. And I don't know how to think about that because yes, they gave you a way to now get. Um, to now do unlimited freighters because you can now still attack freighters when you um you can now still attack freighters when you're out of stamina uh, and you will still get adventure points from them but no more other loot like in uh, like 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 hero xp 
that's what I heard. I haven't done it myself. Um, so yeah, that's um, uh, that. That's the thing. That's that's also on there. So now it's limited. It used to be limited to the amount of freighters that you can uh, kill each day, like 24 each day for 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 the amount of stamina that you can have. But now it's limited by the Grand Odyssey chapter, and I don't I don't know if I like that. I know that they had to put in a limitation because otherwise some grinders will probably be at the next level limit in within the next two days. Um, and if you have enough hero experience, that means that all of your heroes will be on the same uh, level as well. Um, but yeah, that's, I don't know. Um, that is a change that I heard of that I haven't seen myself, but who's that? That player is in uncharted waters. So does that mean that we can... That we can now go to... Uh, season 2 while you're still on the infamy list? Ooh, let's quickly switch out all of these. Because I hate these. Do I have 40 hours of speed ups for my stargazing? Let's have a quick look. Yes, I do. That means that I'm going to be taking this mission. And I'm going to instantly... Everyone who's looking at this live stream right now, please make sure you do this. Instantly complete that. Try to make sure that you're not sitting on a slot that could be refreshed for other people. Uh, let's go to the next one. I just finished one. Um, how many hours do we still need? It was like 16, I think. Yes, like a thousand minutes. It's, it's very weird to be looking at that in minutes. So let's... Go, yes, no. Come on, I'm looking for the trigger above here. That it's now done. I think one more. There it is. Now is the, tr the, the trigger that it's done. So now I completed it. Which means that I now have freed up that slot for refreshing again. And if you're looking at this stream and you have this event ongoing. Do not do blue ones. These blue ones are a waste of your time attempts because the limiting factor is the attempts that you have not the time maybe the time that you have in game yes that's also could be a limiter but if you are able to play enough the limiting factor is the attempts that you have and the attempts are uh, making it that th um, if you're getting 400 points per attempt or 1200 points per attempt you're getting a way higher rewards for the amount of things that you're doing um, let's do another one. And go to the next one. Yes, I focus a lot on my uh, uh, stargazing. Because in my opinion, this is where real power comes from. And not the cabins. So maybe this is where I'm getting my 2.2 million from. Um, but I have other people seen other people that I'm that are about the same uh, spot as I am with uh, uh, with stargazing, and they haven't gotten uh, they don't have 2.2 million difference between their fleet size and their straight class uh, power. Let's keep an eye out when it triggers. How many do I need? Did it just already trigger? It all. OBS is. Dang, why is, why is OBS going down again? I'm having OBS problems, guys. I don't know. Can you still see me? Am I back yet? Am I here again? Because OBS went down again. 
I think I'm back. Right? But the delay is bigger now. Okay, well, um, yeah, my, my apologies, guys. Uh, for some reason, uh, um, OBS is down again. So uh, OBS is, is doing weird things again. So now I don't now I don't have problems with my internet connection like like I had like three weeks ago. But now OBS is going to be becoming a problem. Um, yeah. Uh, Orange says I got you, Bob. So yeah, the, the probably has. Uh, I, I, I am probably am back now. Uh, did you, did you test impact? And if you had that high damage on, on Tanaka, wondering what uh, what you use right now? Yeah, what I'm using on that high damage Tanaka is I have his trinket on there, which um, is level 80, so that's max level trinket. It took me quite a while to do. Um, and what I also have is I have ship parts on there. Uh, old ship parts. I have three old ship parts on there that I was very lucky in with getting high base attack. And another uh, bonus in the percentage as well. I got myself an impact bonus uh, a figurehead. But also four upgrades in base attack here. And... This isn't possible anymore with the new ship parts, but I got an attack bonus 20% sale and base attack also upgraded four times. So these three combined with 64, 87 and 77, I got myself an insane amount of base attack increase. And then I have a, uh, an attack bonus of 25% uh, on my helm as well. And uh, that's how I got myself 99% uh, 99,000 attack. And uh, then after that, I of course got down the blazing set on there, which um, uh, does also the increased uh, blazing damage. So, um, and it does 10% less damage to me. Uh, then I also have... Um, Increased blazing damage on uh, on one of the skills of the ship. I have increased attack on there, and I have increased blazing damage seven percent more um, uh, on this one. So yeah, it's 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 a lot. It's it's a lot. Um, also, this increases blazing damage by thirty percent. The bomb increases blazing damage by twenty one percent. So all of those things combined just give an insane amount, like 99,000 attack. Um, and uh, I don't have high crit rate or high crit damage, um, but I have 80% burning damage increase as well. And that's something I do really like. And of course the uh, legendary Tanaka one also does um, if the, shielder if the wielder has a first mate tag, when the ship under the wielder's command inflicts burning effect 15 times, it will deal a blazing damage equal to 290% of, uh, uh, of the attack at 5 enemy ships. So, and since Tanaka himself inflicts, uh, attacks 5 ships at most, so... For most people, that's four ships. And in addition, he will inflict two stacks. That it means that every, one, every time I, he attacks all four ships of my opponent, he inflicts two stacks on all four ships. That means that it's almost... And as soon as it triggers, then uh, Lester triggers. He gives... Uh, attracts three ships and does one to three... The stacks so these are at least three at max uh, like nine stacks um, then this triggers as well because then then we're over the 15 mark so yeah we can, I'm getting like eight every time Tanaka triggers and the second time he triggers this is guaranteed so um, yeah that's that's just insane and uh, those all those combined is shown in is just an insane amount of Tanaka uh, damage on my straight flashes. Did I still have one? 
yeah, uh, for anyone that just came into the stream, um, we're talking about Tanaka and how strong he is on my uh, on my ship. Um, so you can see here, I'm doing a little bit of damage, I'm doing a little bit of damage, and as soon as the, the arc comes for the Tanaka, this one, there goes my opponent's health. He also did a Tanaka hit, but... Ooh. This might be a tough, tougher fight. He got one of my ships down. Nah, but as soon as another tr Tanaka triggers, it's done. As you can see, this, this Tanaka is just doing insane amounts of damage. Um, and not only in the Straight Clash, but also in the Rogue's Rumble. Uh, I'll, I'll just have to refresh. These are very tough guys. Um, let's, let's attack Blood Wave for a second. I also have Tanaka in here, but because his trinkets is maxed, his speed is high. His speed is high. This means that if you're going into Trials or uh, Rogue Rumble, that he will attack first. Look. He attacks first, and then he does his skill, and everyone's down to half health. And then the rest of the heroes can just one can come in and, and try to finish off everyone. And as soon as Bones would, for example, trigger... Um, do we get a Bones? No, we don't get a Bones uh, skill. Because the rage is too low. Um, do we get another... Yeah, the, oh, that was Lulu. Then three heroes go down because of Lulu. And as can we also have a Bones trigger? That's one Bones. And then another Bones. And yes, I got myself a rank 3 bones this week. So, um, uh, that's also why he's now um, uh, attacking more than once. Because bones has this, this skill and uh, the bones will gain silver bullets when he performs an active skill. No, this one. Increased attack by 2% in close combat, and when Bones performs an active skill, so this attack, he will inflict Marked for Death on the target. Marked for Death means that if the target, if the person that's Marked for Death dies, within the following turn, Bones will perform his active skill instantly. So, uh, when he performs his skill, um, when he performs his skill, he will mark some person for death. If he, if he or a hero after him kills that hero, then he will trigger again. Put another mark of death on there. If he then kills it again, he will give another hero... Uh, um, uh, then he will do another trigger. So in this case, you could just have like Bones trigger three, maybe four times. But to do that, I first need to make sure that they're not full health anymore. And that's what Tanaka is doing for me right now. He's getting everyone to have health because he's attacking the entire opposing fleet. And as soon as everyone's at low health, Bones can just come in and shoot that one, shoot the other one, and then everyone's going down after one after another. So that's why, uh, why that's a, a very good combination in my opinion. Um, what's people saying? Uh, Fructose is saying, yo ho, yo ho Fructose, how are you doing? And Illuminati Matrix as well, how are you doing? Um, as of yesterday, you can no longer go beyond your stamina. Oh, is that a thing that changed yesterday's update? I thought that was, was, thing, was a thing that you can do now, but apparently that's fixed now. So, sorry for mentioning it, uh, it's not it's not possible anymore. Then I think when, when stamina is the limiting factor again, I think that just they should also um, reconsider having your max level dependent on your um, on, on the Grand Odyssey. So I hope that they fix that as well then. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've been up to the couple of, last couple of days. Um, for everyone that's been, uh, that wasn't here at the beginning of the stream, uh, this week we have found what impact does. Um, we have found the calculation for impact and that is this formula. Um, it's decreasing your damage. If you have equal impact as your armor, 
as, as the, your opponent's armor, it will decrease your damage by half. And for every 5% that you have more than your opponent, you will do 1% more damage. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very, very um, uh, disappointing thing. Um, because armor isn't really doing that much. So yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're doing. Um, what's the first calendar hero when you go to second season? Uh, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm, I've already uh, completed my second season. Um, Sky Onage. Um, I'm, I'm in the season one map because the season two map is closing for us all uh, uh, in two days. Um, yeah, but uh, I've been on the season two map for a while. Um, um, I focused my hero on Tanaka because I have a blaze. I had a blazing setup before then. Um, yeah, so that's. Uh, um, that's that's something I focused on. Dang, why is OBS going down again? Is it is it going down again? That's like the third time. It's like like the third time. Why is it? Am I still here? Am I still here for you guys? Um, because OBS keeps dropping out. I don't know what's the problem is. My apologies, guys. I I have no idea. Uh, blazing seems better than drowning, or is it the same? No. Uh, yeah, Coyote, I'm still here. Okay, good. Uh, because I keep getting notifications. I'm, you're probably hearing the notifications as well. Uh, that's OBS uh, quitting and then restarting itself by it on its own. I have no idea why, why or what. Um, blazing seems better than drowning damage, or is it the same? Blazing is um, a drown. No, drowning damage was. Uh, is focused on uh, the highest ship, the, uh, the 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 ship with the highest HP, and that's something uh, that is specific for drowning. And the blazing damage doesn't have that, but I don't like that uh, because I want to get, it, I want to sink one ship of my opponent as fast as they can. Because if one ship is down, he can't attack me anymore, and that's why I want to focus on blazing more than I want to focus on drowning. So that's that's what I uh, what I was thinking. Uh, Illuminati Matrix saying, "How was the concert last week?" Yeah, it it was great. Um, I wasn't expecting much because it's just a, a cover band that just like two or three performances. No, a, a tribute band, not like a cover band, but tribute band to Linkin Park um, that uh, was doing uh, like two or three performances each week. And I was pleasantly surprised. I've seen them before, but this time I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I think they gotten better in that time. So yeah, um, it was an extremely, extremely uh, fun night with a couple of my mates. Uh, had a couple of drinks, and uh, well, it uh, it uh, uh, I was I was I went out just after stream, like like half an hour after I and it ended stream last week. But uh, I only got back at home like uh, like like 1 a.m. or something. So it was was a was a fun night. So I I don't think I had a voice. The next day so uh my, my voice was half gone the day after because i was, was uh, screaming so loud with with all of the music so and the loud the music was loud enough that you couldn't hear me so uh, that's a good thing uh what are all the chests at the dock sky on it yes those are my treasures sky on it um with the 170 update you can now go at your treasures and instead of um, going to like for instance uh, uh, going to those treasures that are all over the map I think uh, they're I think they're still yeah here these are older treasures I unlocked these ones um, and I found these now but to collect this I now have to get my ship from where I'm right now all the way over to here and then go sell it at a port um, selling it at a port that you own is more beneficial to you um, than selling it at a port that your game doesn't own. So I, if I want to get the most gold out of this, I want to go to a port that I own. Where are the closest ports to my that I own? That's all the way back. And these usually have two, maybe three holes of uh, cargo, the legendary ones. So you have to go three times back and forth 
to collect all of this and i hate that um so with the update you can now let's see if i can still have one but i do have to cancel my ship from trading if i want to do that so now my ship's at port and i go to my treasure clues let's see if there's a one this one i can now pay three uh golden uh, compasses instead of one and spawn that treasure right there so i make some sort of and i i also i also started right here but, but i wanted to have them closer to port because now you still have to go out and into port and have them like here is like 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 instant i can just click them collect it sell it instantly and what i use what i use mostly where, where, where it is for the the mondays the trading mondays of um of the um how's it called how's those how are those how's that that event called the week-long event where the mondays are trading can some of you guys help me out with the name because i forgot the name um yeah i i tend to seem to have forgotten the name uh of the sea something of the sea so that's why i'm collecting all of them i'm paying more compasses but i usually have compasses um i usually have compass the compasses uh, left over so then i'm just spawning them in i'm collecting them i'm saving them and as soon as that lord of the sea event there it is um it, it will come to me eventually the Lord of the Sea event Monday comes around when you have to trade in uh, gold for points. I just go collect all of these, trade them in instantly and get all of the points um, that way. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, those, that's where those chests are for. I have to sell one. If you want to have to uh, set up your auto trade again, you have to have an empty cargo space. But you don't have to sell everything. You can just sell one item. And then you can go into auto trade again and then he won't buy all of those items again he will just stock up to to the one that you had um and then we'll go sell it at the other one so that's the least amount of loss that you can have i'll be doing that from now on yeah <laughs> yeah i'm trolling i'm calling those my treasure coves um it's something that i uh, that that uh, other people can't see so you're not you're not uh, doing anything for other people so i usually tend to do it at a port that i don't usually where i'm not often and where uh, where um, my ship isn't often but i also want um, um i want to make sure that as soon as i start go collect them that we still own that port so don't do it at a level one or level two port when you're going up or or in season two when you're a level one or two uh, ports, uh, when in like three or four days you could be um, uh, you could be dis of, uh, abandoning that port again, then you have a treasure cove at a port that you don't own. So make sure to do it at ports that you know that your gang is going to keep for the next week or two, whatever it takes for your Lord of the Sea event to come around again. So yeah. Um oh, you understand why you pick him up? Yeah, for the Lord of the Sea event. Yeah. Um yeah, that's that's why I'm doing that. So, um, guys, I'm gonna be taking a a, a small break. Um, I'm gonna have to go uh, to the bathroom real quickly. Uh, I'll be back in like a minute or two. Yes, uh, Illuminati Matrix. If you can wait like a minute or two, I'll be go. Uh, I'll go over my ship, uh, my fleet, as soon as I come back from uh, from a break. Yes. Uh, so I'll be back in like two minutes.
Yeah, there we are again. Um, so Illuminati Matrix was asking, can you show your fleet? It hasn't changed much since last week, but it might change during stream right now. Because when, uh, first let me show what I got. Um, I got a flagship with Ahab, Cursed Ad and Armstrong with a Golden Rudder and two Eagle Shields on there. I focus a lot of the HP, uh, a lot of my uh, thing on HP and uh, on a lot of armor because I want to have this ship getting attacked. That's where the aggro comes in from Armstrong and from all of the shields. Um, and I want this ship to be attacked. So I want to have high armor on this one. Um, uh, where I also focused on for the figurehead is critical resistance because everyone's doing crit builds right now. Uh, everyone has, for example, all of the oh, let's say the, the new all of the new ship parts have crit rate on there. So everyone's doing crit damage. So that's why I wanted to do crit resistance on uh, on my flagship uh, because that's less diluted diluted than uh, extra armor. Um, if I were to focus on an armor set on there, which I had, uh, I think last week still, I'm getting a hundred thousand less, but I am getting like 5k up to 5k armor. But I think this is just getting insane compared to most people. So, um, nobody, nobody has 5k impact. So, um, that's why I'm uh, going back to critical resistance. Then I have a legendary Stormbringer focusing on blazing damage with extra blazing damage and decreased drowning damage with Lester with a bomb with Tanaka with his katana and with Cordelia on there with an extra hook to get more uh... <laughs> Orange saying nobody has 5k impact challenge accepted. No Orange. <laughs> that challenge acceptance sounds like... Uh... Like, uh, how's the guy called from Howard Metro Mother? Challenge accepted. Um, <laughs> that, that's what I'm picturing in my head when you're saying that. Um, yeah, but I got Cordelia on there just because this is a very, very, very high imp uh, attack stat ship. Um, and those attack stats come mostly from these insanely lucky old ship parts where I got myself a lot of base attack and got myself another attack bonus on this one as well so that's that's how i got myself uh this um this uh, this this setup with high blazing then i have a fearless princess um with uh, ophelia sharky and queen lanting um the fearless princess is a strategic focused chip but i only have a griffin at rank two i don't have luna no uh, i do have luna but i don't have boa um, and I also don't have Molly, so that means that I would have only Griffin on here, and that's that's something I just don't think it's useful. So that's why I switched to the artillery. And when season three comes around, and I will be able to get, I I, I hope I'm able to get a good, yeah, Barney Stinson, wait, legend. Wait for it, Derry. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. That's your turn. Challenge accepted. Is just just that's what that's the, the face that was popping into my mind. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I will be replacing the Fearless Princess for the Season 3 Artillery Heroes. Uh, 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 no, the Artillery Ship. Um, hoping that with my luck I can get a good one. <laughs> He's your spirit animal. I once bought, uh, for a birthday present from, from a mate of mine, I once bought uh, um, the code, the book, the, the bro code. It was actu there's actually a book out there called the bro code with all of the the rules that that uh that barney made in uh, in there and it's actually and i made my uh, i i bought myself a hard copy or, or paperback copy of that and that was uh that's a birth that was a birthday present for a mate of mine who just got out of a breakup i was like yeah that's that's the perfect that's the perfect uh thing um bob is so smart that he can outsmart developers well scoot uh good to have you here how are you doing scoots um no i can't outsmart developers i'm not that smart i'm just testing a lot and um seeing what works best and um that's why i'm enjoying it also all of my knowledge is not just my knowledge 
I've gotten so much help from every one of, uh, uh, from a lot of people. Also, um, if you're not in there already, what I, where I got a lot of my help from is from a Discord server. It's not my server. I'm not, it, I'm not, I am on there, but it's not my server. Um, let's see if I can find myself the link so I can send it to you guys. Where is it? I'll put it. I'll put it in the description of the video of, of the of the thing later when I can find someone. I I, re I can't seem to find it right now. Uh, tutorials? No. It's information? No. Ah, dang it! I can't find it. That's such a shame. Um. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, my apologies, I can't find it. Um, but there is an SOC server where I'm getting a lot of uh, Discord from. Uh, give me Discord, I'm happy to join. <laughs> yeah, if I were to, uh, if, I, if I could find the, 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 the actual link. Um, let me have a... It, it used to be somewhere around here. Those are, no, those are patch notes, those are roles. Self, so you can... Give yourself rolls, the redeem codes. No, those are, oh, I'm, I don't need that. Server links. No, those are all links on the server itself. Fre frequently asked questions. No, no, no. Where is it? Uh, I know I saw it somewhere. There it is. Server invite. It's a very small text. There it is. No, that's not it. That's this video. Um, <laughs> that's what I was trying to post uh, earlier for uh, other things, uh, other people. Copy text. And then this one. This is the invite. This is the invite to the Discord server, uh, the information server. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was posting on the general Discord uh, live stream uh, notification. Um, I don't have a Discord myself, but I am on that Discord, and um, I am getting a lot of my uh, Bob Jubaden yarn. <laughs> yeah, D do you now have double the live stream open, please? Does that also count as two viewers? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's uh, the other one is the Discord server, and this Discord server is has a lot of information on there. Um, um, it's 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 where I got a lot of my. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be sharing a rickroll video. Um, no, but um, uh, that's that's where I get a lot of my information from. I'm not smarter than the developers, definitely not. Uh, Scoots, thank you for the compliment, but I'm definitely not smarter than them. Um, I have a lot of people uh, that are also trying to get this information um, and a lot of people are posting it right there and I'm reading a lot of their of, of the things that people that that other people post there so I'm not doing this all by myself I have a, a community of people that are all trying to figure out stuff uh, but let's go back to the build with the Illuminati matrix I'm still not asked for it and I'm still not done I also have a Warhammer uh, with Bones, Lulu and Luna on there. Um, I am focusing on attack stats right here because Lulu is uh, also taking advantage of it. I have an inc uh, uh, incredibly high impact stat on there because of this skill. It's armor piercing and for every 20 impact the ship has, uh, it gives a decrease in my opponent's armor of 7.5. So, so let's get our trusty calculator out. Divided by 20 times seven and a half. That means that 1376, 67, sorry, um, of my opponent's armor is just gone for five seconds. And that means that I do way more damage and not only with this ship, but also with my other ships. And that's why I like this Warhammer so much. But, 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 today, Half an hour before I started live streaming, I was making a clip for a YouTube video that's coming out later tonight or maybe even tomorrow with all my season two experience for everyone that's going into season two. 
and I was building my weekly Warhammer and all of a sudden I got myself a legendary one. So now I'm contemplating, do I want to switch to the legendary Warhammer or do I want to stay with the purple Warhammer which decreases all of my opponent's armor? I don't know. And I think the only way to, uh, to actually know this is to start testing it. So let's go. Let's go. I just made the decision that we're going at least going for it and that we're at least going to be testing it. So it's a team effort, Orange. Yes, Orange, uh, Coyote, Sensei, um, uh, and uh, are on from from our server are are also collaborating a lot of the knowledge that uh, I'm I'm spewing out uh, during the live streams or videos uh, a lot of their a lot of my information also comes from them um, so all props to them uh, then there's also uh, before I'm butchering her name let me let me look it up let me look it up um, Let's go up to our chat. Uh, Ju Jin, I think. Uh, she's Korean, so my, my apologies if I butchered the name even then. Uh, also Archer with sad news. Archer quit the game this week. So that's 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 not good. Um, he leaves behind a lot of people uh, on the information server. Uh, he started that information server. I just uh, posted in the chat. The Discord server where a lot of the people have the inform that information. He started that. He's the one that initiated it. He's the one that uh, found me, gave me the link, and we both went uh, uh, into looking at the game and trying to figure out how much can we learn. 90% um, <laughs> of Coyote's information is wrong. So and he he sent out the lads to investigate it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Fidiso, yo man. Fidiso, how are you doing? Um, yeah, <laughs> nice, good timing. I will be going into season two in two weeks. So um, I think that the video will probably be out tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I might need to look over it uh, one more time. I have a final draft, but I still need to render it. Uh, but before I make, before I go render it, then I might, um, uh, I might. Uh, have to look at it tomorrow morning with fresh eyes to make sure that I didn't mess up anything because I've done that before. Um, <laughs> yes, math. Math is going again. Uh, how do you have an abacus? Uh, how do you have an abacus avatar, uh, um, emoji? That's that's amazing. Now now we just need abacus. Now we just need the the the, the things to move on there to have animated. Uh, emojis um Creonix, what server are you on bob hi Creonix. uh how are you doing i'm on server 57 and if you want to join um uh, you're more than welcome uh all we ask for is uh, active people doesn't matter what strength you are right now if you're active and you want to play and you're uh, going to be um uh, if you're going to be uh, uh, actively playing on the server then uh, we would love to have you uh, Coyote um, saying that uh, the best server, yes, 57, the best server in, in, in our case. Um, we've won both, uh, both of the seasons so far and uh, we're going for it again in season 3, of course. Um, and we can see tomorrow how we compare to, for example, server 88 uh, with this event. I will be recording this event and uh, trying to make a video out of this uh, as well. Uh, what do you guys think? Let, let me know your opinion. Would you be interested in the entire thing? Uh, just unedited with, uh, with my commentary while it's ongoing? Or would you want to have it edited? And maybe have a voiceover later? Let me know. Put it in chat. What do you guys want? Uh, do you want to know uh, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking while I'm doing it? Do you want to see me do the entire battle uh, or do you guys want to have an edited video where uh, where I have some sort of voiceover that you can do <laughs> Coyote saying edit it remove our strategy yes 
<laughs> but strategy will probably change as soon as this, the, the second time comes around, right? Um, I'm not going to be live streaming it. So, uh, Cryonic same. I'm on 92, testing stuff myself, just here to learn something new. Yeah, if you want to really want to learn something, um, Cryonics, and you haven't already been on there, this Discord server that I'm posting right now has a lot of information as well. Um, you can see season two maps, season three maps, season uh, all of the things that aren't that you can see for yourself. Other people have shown screenshots of you. Uh, where are all your gold planks? They are go. They go so fast. Yeah, they're gone now. And just for testing purposes they're all gone yeah i had like 400 that's like 350 dang it but the problem is when you scrap a ship you do get the gold back but you don't get the planks back so yeah uh, i'm hoping this warhammer actually is good because otherwise i just wasted 350 planks on there and that's like how much how much would that be um let's quit the trade route go to the port and then we're gonna do some testing uh also at what level should i keep my shipbuilder study at what level is taking more time than actually helping i am testing that right now skono sky sky ownage because i wanted to have every single one this this is one of the last ones that i still need to do every single one of my cabins up to the same level so that as soon as i do it this this is the last one i need to have so as soon as i upgrade my uh shipbuilder study i can see how many minutes or hours did i save by upgrading it again because it has a diminishing return it shipbuilder studies have a diminishing return I can, maybe I can show you in like this. Is it opening Then make it bigger? Um, do that, do that, do that. Make sure you don't get flashbang. So um, if there are two ways to do it, there's, uh, there's, um, let me, let me, Maybe, maybe bigger 40 there's a f uh, <laughs> this needs to be bigger okay 40 was maybe too big but 25 there's um, a reduction and there's also efficiency and if there were to, uh, to be a, a reduction every shipbuilder study is going to be going down if it's going to be giving you one percent wow my amazing writing skills uh it's going to be one percent reduction which means that if you were to have 10 levels it would become 10 percent and if you have 20 levels it will become 20 percent but at some point you will be going over the 100 percent reduction and then every building would be instant in st <laughs> nah, this is not working. <laughs> but the efficiency means that for every ink that that your efficiency will increase. So that means that if it costs twenty four hours to upgrade before twenty four hours to upgrade before, then you have to divide that by one o one percent instead of doing it times 99 percent which you would do for the reduction you would do divide it by 101 and that means that if you get 100 percent efficiency that would go up to 200 percent and then and weird weird percentage but uh, and then it would uh, decrease to like 12 hours so that means that you can never actually get to zero. Yeah, everyone's gone. <laughs> I'm going math again. Um, so you will never actually get to zero. And that's what's doing the efficiency. So that also means 
that the first time you do it, it's 1%. The second time you do it, it's 0.99% that it's actually benefiting you. Uh, not specifically 99%, but everyone's doing. And at some point, it's going to be like 0.4%. 0.3%. Um, so the efficiency that you're actually doing is going down. So I don't think it's worth it to actually upgrade your shipbuilder studies each level. I think maybe keep them 10 levels below your flagship. I think that might be the thing, but I'm, I'm, I'm currently testing it. So um, check your content, check the content again and wait for the answer. Yes, I We'll try to make a video out of it. Um, otherwise, come back to a, nice, uh, a live stream next week. And I'll probably have tested it by then. Because I want to test it tonight or tomorrow morning. Because after that, I want to go to level 27 with all of my buildings. Because I want to be as strong as possible for this event. So I want, I want to test that. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's, that's a very long answer to a very short question. Um... Uh, yeah, we have plenty of room in the gang for new members. So, uh, Bob, I have the same set on my Warhammer, um, but I was told the requisite of the black was broken and to use Blade of Freedom, is that true? I don't know if requisite of the black is broken, but I am using a Blade of Freedom set. The reason I'm using a Blade of Freedom set is because I have a healer on there as well. A healer would not help the blade, the, the uh, would not be benefiting from a requisite of sins of black uh, ship part set but she is benefiting from a blade of freedom set so that's why i got it show us the math no orange you don't want to show the math you don't want the math you, you're the guy that doesn't want the math <laughs> usually so let's see um if i go to actually attack a, uh, we only got level 50 freighters in season one Never mind, I'm going back to season two. Go. Let's go back to season two. Then I can actually uh, uh, attack a level 60 freighter. Um, level 33 times three means 99% off, right? Yeah, that would mean if you get to level 33, you get all three of them, then it, every building would be instant. And of course, there's not only that, but you're also able to get this construction speed upgrade and construction speed upgrade. This is the same upgrade as uh, as those cabins. As soon as you're able to get those, you'll be you'll uh, you'll you will go over the 100 percent. And that would mean that it would be instant. So and they can't have that. You can't have an instant up building upgrade. So they're doing an efficiency one. So that means that your efficiency increases, but it means that if you get to 200% efficiency, which is a 100% bonus, it would not be instant, but it would be 50%. So yeah, I hope I'm making myself clear in that case. It's it's hard to, to show on stream, to actually show on stream. Um, let's see. Um, What's people saying? Uh, longer time around cabins means one percent of the total is more and more saving with each level. Yeah, but it's not gonna be one percent bonus every time you do it. It's gonna be 0 0.4, 0 0.3. It's gonna be a diminishing return in that case. So um, yes, if if everything in the future is gonna be one percent um, quicker, then yes, it will be it will be beneficial. But it, I don't think it will be beneficial. Isn't that counteracted by the timers getting higher? Yes, but... Um, the timers getting higher, it that doesn't... If you were to get a 1% discount every time, and you're saying level, 23, level 33, three times is 99% off. Yes, because that would mean that everything you now build is going to be 1% of the original time. And 1% of the original time, the, yeah, the the timers getting higher would counteract that a little. But that would mean that the timer getting, for a person that isn't doing level 30, uh, level 30 um, things, would have like three months build time. <laughs> and the timer is not getting that, that much higher. 
it's it's getting higher in days i have five six days i have for one upgrade but um it's not like if you were to actually want to counteract that that thing it would be you you would un it you would be like looking at three months build time for um that so yeah um uh, flagship 20, uh, Skyonis is saying flagship 26 right now and uh, 16, 16 and 18 study right now. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Um, uh, keep them behind a couple levels. I don't, I don't, 10 is a guess from me, my, from, from myself right now. Um, um, but it could be that 10 would be a good number to keep. Uh, could also be that five was a, is is a fi five levels is a good number to keep them behind, but um, yeah, I do think uh, that you have to try and keep them behind a couple levels. But I don't know. Uh, I'll be doing the math later today or tomorrow, and uh, I'll get back to you guys on that. Um, Orange is saying that it likes sure like sh sh like sure it's only five percent more, but it's five percent more of an hour. Rather than 4% more of 50 minutes, you know? No, I don't. Sorry, Orange, I can't follow you anymore. <laughs> you lost me, mate. Um, <laughs> Star Sanket is saying which ship parts level you still, you're still you using. Is there any level 18s? Yes, I'm still using level 18s. And why am I still using level 18s? Because I was incredibly lucky. And after the upgrade, you can't have attack bonuses on uh, sales anymore. So that's why I'm still using some level 18 parts in there. Um, on the most cases, level 18 parts are worse. Uh, these are the stats that I found. Um, these are the new stats. Uh, these are the, the stats of the new uh, um, ship parts. And these are just higher stats than they had on there. Um, the only reason you're you're actually using old ones uh, still would be if you have gotten this lucky with um, uh, with the upgrades because you're not getting upgrades anymore now. Um, but if you've gotten this lucky, then yeah, maybe I'm still using a level 18 part somewhere. Uh, this was level 25. This was level 25, but those were very lucky as well. Um, was I still using a level 25 ship part on here? No, that's an 18. That's a 25. Here, this is also an 18. I wanted to have an impact bonus and it's not no longer possible to get impact bonuses on sailing speeds, uh, on sailing sails anymore. So that's why I'm still using a level 18 one on here. So yeah, uh, I am still using some, um, some parts for uh, Blade of Freedoms, uh, some Blade of Freedom 18 sets. Or just ship parts, 18 sets in general. Um, Coyote saying is just playing around with my ship parts and got 4k impact on the Warhammer. Wow, that's that's insane. Let's see. If I were to switch out this Warhammer for the other one. For my, for my legendary one. I'd have to put the heroes back on. Uh, Lulu, because I'm not going to be putting Kay uh, Kojo on there. And I'd have to put the Blade of Freedom set on there that was on the other one. Yeah, it's found on the Warhammer right now. I know I want to change them around. Uh, this one. And uh, this one. Where would my shows, uh, mine go right now? Total impact 3100. <laughs> it's decreased. It has decreased. How how did it decrease? I have no idea. Anyone has an idea how it could have decreased? What are these skills? Yeah, here, there it is. Increases impact by 20% and reduces armor by 10. Yeah, uh, increases increases impact. Uh, decreases aggro. Yeah, okay, so probably a, 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 a huge part of that was uh, 
uh, was these skills. Uh, 700% more damage of all types. Uh, increased cut r uh, critical rate, but reduced critical resistance. And increased cut road damage by 14%. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I would get. Uh, let's see what we can do now with level 60 freighters. Let's see if there's any difference that we can see in the stats or in the um, uh, in the reports. Let's see. It's not seeing. It's taking. It's taking a while. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can see something on the. It is my high. In this case, it was my highest hitting ship, and that was the ships itself, not even uh, uh, Bones or Luna that was doing that. It was the ship itself, and was, that was probably um, this one. When the ship launches a basic attack, there's a 20% probability that it will deal cutthroat damage equal to 200% of its, of its attack to the target. The, tar the skill can be triggered at most at once every 10 seconds and the damage will increase as the target's current HP decreases. The boost can increase up to 100% of the attack. So you can do up to like 250 or maybe even 300% of the, of the attack that you're doing right here. And that's something the ship's doing and not the actual heroes itself. Um, these aren't doing much, but, um, can we switch them back? Can we switch them back and see, and see the change and, and see what changes? So putting on the heroes again, why can you just not, why can't you just switch the ship? Why you have to put on the heroes again? That you have to put the ship parts back? I, I get, but put that back that back put that back and the last one put that back so that there's we got 3600 impact again so um yeah um let's fight another freighter let's heal up and fight another freighter and see what we can do with this freighter and how it compares to the other one um Let's see what's people saying. Uh, Cryonix is saying he's 31 with my studies at 20 or 21. They don't seem worth it to be honest. No, I, I, I think that's, that is the case. So uh, you having it like 10 levels below your uh, thing is, is a good thing. Um, notice, listen to Bob. I think I like theory crafting. I'm not a real numbers guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not a real numbers guy, but you like the theory crafting. Okay, that's 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 fair. That's fair. Um, let's see the stats. Now he's not doing that much damage anymore, and that's mainly this. These are still okay. These these were the same on the other one, but this has decreased a lot, and it has increased some of the other ones. But that's just because you have to do a certain amount of damage together to kill them. So if this ship is not doing that much, another ship will have to do more damage to fill in the gap. So in this case, that was the uh, the blazing one. So yeah, I uh, I might be switching out to the other one. I might be stepping off of the the other. The, the the impact the high impact build so let's see what we can make let's see what we can make if we put on all of these heroes back and we can start putting on new ship parts uh, level 21 21 21 21 21 21 yeah it doesn't matter enhance let's let's keep all the ones uh, that I already have on the other one, so I don't have to switch out anytime. I'm just gonna be making new ship parts. It's only costing me a little bit extra gold. Mount. Then, what do we wanna have? 
25 figurehead with impact no we want to have a figurehead with crit damage or a figurehead with crit rate i think i want to be going crit rate on this one so let's see Thirteen percent. Twenty-two percent. Thirty-one percent, and also a little bit of crit damage with that. So mount it. Uh, what do we have for a helm? I have strategic damage, no attack bonus. Might be attack bonus with more base attack and more base impact. Level eighteen shit. Part set. I have one that has attack damage with a, a, an okay crit damage. Um, let's put on a blade of freedom set. Uh, an an, an, an uh, attacks bonus set. Because Lulu would also benefit from that. That's why I'm doing this. Last one, yes, back, mount, go. Uh, what else we got? We got impact, no. We got sailing speed with more impact, no. We've got sailing speed with crit rate, no. I don't need sailing speed. Impact bonus, sailing speed, no. What else do we got? We got armor and HP. I think I'm gonna go in for armor. I know it's an attacking ship, but I do want to, to survive. Why is this always so late? Um, yes, that is the highest score that I've been so far. And there goes you OBS again. My god, OBS. Uh, can someone let me know if I'm back? Or if it actually crashed right now? I'm, I'm getting really annoyed by OBS. Um, now, attack another freighter. Um, Surreal Wars says, Hello Bob, the go-to streamer for Sea of Conquest. You can tell me what's the damage and attack difference and what is better. I do like damage more than attack. Um, but, if you have, for, for this case, with three attacking heroes on there, I would go damage. But in this case, with two attacking heroes and a healer, or in this case, with two attacking heroes and a healer, I would go, um, uh, I would go with attack because the healer doesn't benefit from more damage stat. It does benefit from more attack stat. So that's why I'm saying it depends. As as all answers in this game, it depends. Um, so yeah. The new set is crit damage meta 127 or 137 is the best crit damage on uh, on Blade of Freedom set. Yeah, <laughs> it might be. What's the... Uh, holy crit rate. <laughs> With an original factor of 25. So the, the every... Uh, if you weren't were, were to have no other crit damage upgrade, you would do an, an extra 50% damage. So yeah. Um, let's see, let's see what we're doing. Yes, we were attacking another freighter. Let's see. <laughs> In this case, it didn't do that much. But would that just be... The ship tri the the crit damage triggering, or not? Why are we attacking fifties? Were the other ones fifties? No, right? No, the other ones were sixties. Why is it? Why did why did the default go back to six to fifty? Um, Cryonic says agrees to see out new parts or shit made. I think grind old parts. I missed grind old parts. Yes. Um. I don't think they're bad. The, they buff them. But the fact that you can't um, 
fear you don't have you have less rng for most people that's a good thing for the people that like to min max things that's a bad thing so i think that everyone who likes to uh build around their ship and min maxing all of those things that's a bad thing but uh yeah that's it's it is i do the the ship parts itself the stats have gotten better so they're not worse it's just the fact that it's less diverse um for for less theory crafting uh for less min maxing less for min maxing people that's what uh, what's 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 the worst that's what that's why it's bad uh, it's worse uh the new freighters die so fast it's hard to test with them now yeah it's you, you can say that um yes now they're equal again why did that legendary ship on a with with the other ship parts was why was that so insanely good or was this just a one-off? Uh, also, I'm still using my uh, uh, sailing pattern for the season three killed. I'm still using it, and I will be so salty when I when I would lose this when we go to season three. When this, when we go to season three and this resets, I could have gotten this two million reputation on one of the season one guilds. I would have gotten Transylvania Trade Company up to the warship now, by now, um, if I were not trying to get this up. But I'm almost up to Reverence. Um, yeah, because of a legendary. Yeah, but I'm still using a legendary. And it's now doing worse. I know this has different stats, but yeah, it's like the worst damaging ship right now. It's so, so, so insanely broken. It's it's so hard to test these things. If if this if this is the amount of information you're getting, it's so insanely hard to test things. Yeah, I hate that. Um, let's get rid of all the blue ones again before people actually start doing them. If you weren't here before about my rant about not doing blue ones, don't do them because the limiting factor is the amount of attempts you can do on a day. So doing blue, doing blue ones for 400 points is just a waste of points. And you could be in a higher rank, which means you could be getting higher rewards. um yeah so um what did i miss what did i miss what did i miss um uh bro 1v1 is a joke in this game is a joke if you put a healing hero in on your ship you will always win with the same level even if you have so many hero attack heroes yes but there are, there are only two healing heroes so you can't put heroes on all of your healing heroes on all of your ships um, but yes, I am doing the same thing. Um, uh, I am very defensive, and I uh, have a healer. I have healers, uh, both Lulu and Cordelia on, on my ship. So, yeah, that's that's what I got. Um, how does your ship do with? Uh, how does your sh setup do in a PvP with such low HP? <laughs> oh yeah, your ship was thirty one. Um, I do. I hit up. Um, I'm out of attempts right now. Um, but I can show you this one. This is me on a level 27 versus a level 30. Who doesn't have all of the ships up to 30 yet, but at least this is... I'm fresh 27. I haven't upgraded any cabin of 27. So this is base stat 27. And I'm hitting up. H how am I doing in PvP? This is how I'm doing in PvP. Uh, why are you using Armstrong on your flagship? Isn't Magnus better to be? Yes, Magnus is better, Dom. Dom, Magnus is 100% better. But I don't have him. I don't got him. I don't spend that kind of money on the game. So, um, yeah, I don't have Magnus. So that's why I'm not using him. Um, 
Surreal saying, just one additional question. I see that you don't have strategic hero setup. Is it because of your hero level or because it's not as good? Um, <laughs> no, 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 uh, no reason to say sorry, Dom. Um, I just don't have him. Um, <laughs> I, w I would love to use him if I was able to get him, um, but I'm not going to be spending that amount of money on the game. Um, I'm not a whale. I'm not spending high amounts of money on the game. I have spent on the game. I'm, I'm not going to be lying about that, but I'm not going to be spending uh, hundreds or thousands of uh uh, box on the game. Uh, I don't. I don't. I just don't do that. Um, so yeah, my way of playing a game like this is try to min max everything that I can with uh, with the amount that I, I am willing to spend, and that's not that much. So um, so yeah, that's that's why I'm trying to get the best of the the, the most of information. That's also why the YouTube exists because I wanted to have more information and i wasn't able to get it so i wanted to share um Shem can seem to get holly or or lester uh, yeah um i don't have boa as well because she's also paid uh, uh for um uh, she is now uh, cheaper to get because since magnus because she's now on the lower level vip chests um but she used to be on the the chest that magnus is now uh, but i also don't have molly and uh, so I don't, uh, for the strategic heroes, Surreal was asking, I don't have Boa, I don't have Molly, and the Griffin is rank 2. So that's why I'm not using them, because it's just, it's just a waste in, in my case, I, 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 in my opinion. Yeah, I even have a 3 star, a rank 3 Ophelia, a rank 4 Sharky, and a rank 3 Kui. This is better than putting on strategic heroes on there. I could change this out for this one. But then the only reason I would be doing that is because the Fearless Princess is a strategic one. Um, Crayonix is saying Magnus is amazing though. Just saying. Yeah, of course, if you're willing to spend that money on the game, he is amazing. Uh, he, he is he is pretty good. But um, um, I'm not. And it's it's up to you if you say it's worth the money or not. Um, I'm just saying I'm not spending that amount of money on the game, so I can't I can't have him um, he, Because he is paid pay uh, pay only so yeah, um, I'm not judging anyone who does uh, Spend uh, money on the game. I'm just saying that I'm not going to be doing that um, and uh, if it's If he's valid if he's worth the value is is up to is up to you um we are about to go into season two. I think we have a week to go. Dom, uh, it's good to know uh, that every time you go into season two, uh, so far it's been on a Friday. So if you have a timer that is saying that you're just gonna be quitting uh, on the Saturday or on the Tuesday, or that it's not gonna be instant trigger on uh, uh, on that. Um, what will happen before you go to season two? is there will be a trailblazer event and let me get my files there um let me can see if i can find the video of that um it's also going to be on my video that i have uh that i'm gonna be posting today or maybe tomorrow with my season two ending yes 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 you can just event? shut up competing bob shut up um yes so let's go here this is a three-day event that you will be competing against two other servers and with the two other servers um you're going to be sinking freighters that would also mean the patrols the the five times freighters you can get points by trading and accumulating just like on the lord of the sea event monday <clears throat> sorry i got the hiccups all of a sudden um but you can also donate supplies and donating supplies. Did I just quit? Yeah, I just quit. <laughs> How did I do that? Going back, going back. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Um, you can uh, donate uh, wood, iron, gold, emeralds, and everything that you've cooked in the uh, um, in the how's the cabin called? Uh, and and or the distillery or the uh, well, the cooking one. Um, you will be getting 
a leaderboard event which will give you ships crit rate on the solo leaderboard and on ships damage on the gang leaderboard and you will be competing against uh, the other servers in this case we were our gang was competing against 55v and war and this was also one on our server so this is where the amount of points that we came uh, that we uh, uh, racked up about the end of the, the event um, it's a lot of donating I wanted to quit the, I wanted to click this X to quit it but <laughs> I forgot that it was a video um, yeah that's, so that's that's what I was uh, saying so that will start start um, on a Tuesday uh, my voice my this is very low can you increase it is that just for you or is that for anyone um, is everyone does everyone have the my audio low uh, is my, my audio low for everyone because uh, if that's so then I'll try to up it uh, upgrade it um, but uh, yeah that's uh, that's what I'm going um, so the first the trailblazer event at this uh, on a Tuesday and then you go uh, it's a three-day event it will end on Thursday and then you will go to season two on a Friday that's how it's been so far okay must be longer than because we just started 15 plunder event that goes for five days the one before the level seven port takeover yeah it's gonna be a while it's it's uh, this level seven port takeover um, um, uh, if you want to know how long season one will still last go to your conscious go to your calendar and then you can see all of the uh, thing that's going to be online and our end of season was on it will be on the 25th so um i have to play the video at the loudest volume so, uh, other people saying it sounds good uh still not loud enough i can upgrade it i can up it like a couple percent maybe it's already uh, it's already at the highest so sorry I can't do much it's already really high if I go any further then I'm going into the red on my audio mixer and I just don't want to be doing that um, so I don't know what's what's going on there so, sorry sorry um, towards self uh, my apologies if I, were, if I were to able to do, to fix it for you I would but I don't think it did, I have so yeah, that's that's the best way, the re way to see how long your season was still going to be lasting. To look at the calendar in these conscious, and then you can see when the calendar is ending, um, and when uh, when your season is ending as well. So yeah. Um, hi, do you also have a video for the Sea of Conquest event, the one with the stormy sapphires? You mean this one? Uh, if you mean this event. Uh, I haven't played it myself, so I don't have a video about it. It's the first time it's coming, uh, it's the first time it's triggered, uh, it's the first time we're playing it, and we're playing it tomorrow uh, at 11. And I will be making a video out of it, I will be recording it, um, but um, as, as, as I said earlier, uh, do you guys want me to, uh, to edit it or to put the full video out? With live commentary or with, live, uh, with my live voice on it? Or do you want me to edit it down to like a shorter video where I uh, uh, do a voiceover after it? Just let me know. Um, because I'm still considering both cases. If I were to do the full video, I would be able to post it like tomorrow evening maybe or maybe Sunday. Um, and otherwise I will be editing it and my editing skills haven't gotten this that good that it takes me a couple of times. So... Um, Okay, the, the shell roster says the 5th of April. Yeah, so it will probably take you another two weeks for that. And the 5th of April? On what day is the 5th of April? Let me have a look at that. That's Friday. So probably that is the day, that's the day that, you're, uh, uh, that you're going there. Probably. That's a Friday. But if you're still on the... You still haven't taken over the 77 port? I may, maybe, maybe it will... Your season will end on the 5th and the next season will begin on the 12th. It, it could be. Uh, could be both. Um, yeah. Uh, Amelia, thank you. Didn't know it was uh, was first ever. Yeah. As far as I know, it was the first ever. So uh, I haven't been able to do it myself. So I wasn't able to make a video out of it yet. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys want: an edited video or a full video uh, or a, a full event. Um, yeah. Uh, see, did I miss anything? No, I think I'm call all caught up. That just that never happens. Um, <laughs> so let's see if we can do some things. I'm still dead in the water again. I still need to collect all of these treasures that I haven't gotten yet um, before the season ends. Do we still have some high level monsters? No, they're all 58, 60. Where are the other ones? This one? Does this one have 60s? This one has 160. Two, three, and a couple 58s. Uh, I'll go here. Attack. And the other one, or this, does this have 60s? No, this has 50s. Nah, not gonna be doing that. So, uh, let's see if we can get that uh, Yamata set, because I still only have two sets. I'm missing a sail, and I'm missing a. Uh, a cannon. I do have um, a Yamata for the figurehead and I do have a one for the helm, but I still need a sail and a cannon. So let's see if we can get those. Um, the level seven port starts in four days and seven hours for me. Yeah, it, it might be that your seasoning is ending and your season rewards is going to be uh, triggering on the 5th of April in your case. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably what what's gonna happen. So um, yeah, that just just keep in mind that it's it it might take a while. Um, but if you're saying you're bored and uh, some other people are saying that uh, um, that the season one isn't that exciting, season two, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of PvP because um, yeah, everyone wants to have there. Every server has a one or two high ganks. Um, so, so everyone wants to battle. So yeah, we have a, we've had a lot of battles in our season two. So uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're here for the PvP, just wait for season two. It's gonna be insane, and uh, I think season three is gonna be even more insane because there are more servers. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm curious to see uh, if season three is just as insane or even more. So yeah. Um, Let's put the please like and subscribe back. Uh, our season two was kind of boring until center opened. Cryonix saying, oh yeah, really? Because our season two was not really boring, but it's because as soon as uh, the zone two opened, we were able to travel the entire map. And then when we started contesting ports, other ser the 55 server came to us to try to make sure that we didn't weren't able to do it we did the same to them um we went they conquered uh, sir, uh one server conquered this part of the sea they also conquered this part of the sea there were those were two different uh gangs that did that uh, and we came from above so we started from before we even went into the center we went out of this gate out of this gate out of this gate and into this gate to start battling here but that's not possible anymore because you now have the they have to have the gang flag there because otherwise you will have like these kind of invalid territories that you can't do anything with um but before that update we just uh went all around we went all around this and we started battling here just because we could uh just because we started we could battle so um bob uh, what is your suggesting swapping cordelia with Cor lord kuju in cutthroat ship bones so that the cutthroat ship will be become bones kojo or luna and a legendary war on the legendary warhammer or swap eileen in the drowning shed with barnacle so you become Barnacle, Eileen, Adeline on a legendary ship. Why, why are you saying or? I, I do think that you should have um, Cordelia in there. I don't like Cord Lord Kojo. But why are you saying uh, either or? So you're saying 
or you will have a legendary Stormbringer, or you will have a legendary Warhammer with that setup. Is, is that what you're asking? Because I think Warhammer all the way. Because I like the fact that they focus on low HP ships instead of focusing on the high HP ships. You can swap Kojo or Eileen with Cordelia. I would swap Kojo because I don't like Kojo. Uh, three go to S2. Down. Yeah. Um, so how many servers go to S3? As the, uh, the season two. Yeah, three servers. Um, I can show you that part as well. I think I have somewhere I have the season two map. This one. This is the total. This is the total map. Our, our gang started on the top, and this was also a fellow gang. Play uh, a fellow server mate gang. Uh, this is our no, let me rephrase that. Let me start over. Maybe this is even better. Yeah, some other uh, uh, another person made this, but this is what was going on. Um, these two areas are going to be populated by the same server, these two areas are going to be populated by the same server, and these two areas are also going to be populated by the same server. The lowest server number is going to be on these two. The middle server number is going to be on these two. And the highest server number is going to be on these two. That's my opinion. That's my uh, thing so far. All of the other numbers that you're seeing are gates. Um, and on what days they will open. Um, and this this person put all the gangs in there as well. But um, So it's just three servers. But you have two areas for each uh, server. But... Um, we had uh, the, uh, the gang, uh, the second gang on our server uh, teamed up with um, with uh, server 55 in this case to try to defeat us uh, both in season one and in season two. Um, that didn't happen, so uh, we were both victorious on, on we were victorious on both maps. But um, they tried to uh, team up against us and. Uh, 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 do that so that's why i'm saying that they were also coming from the left side because this was that was a gang from our own server that was coming from that side so yeah so three servers um you and two other servers god who yeah god who uh they're not they're not existent anymore um yeah yeah these used to be the second uh, uh Second power server, uh, the second power gang on our server. Uh, someone else was saying, try to uh, sh show us the, the, the strength of the uh, server of your gangs and um, um, of the gangs from the other servers for uh, uh, for comparison. Yeah, our, our highest one is level is uh, 55 million, uh, 51 million, 94, 49, 49 and a 47. And then we have a 47 on uh, server 56 as well. So yeah, local, uh, server 55 has a lot of, uh, has more of high level players in this case. But uh, yes, um, we need more number, higher numbers beating higher, uh, higher amount of people has beaten and higher uh, power. So yeah. Um, on which ship tanks bro, put Delia on the Warhammer. Yeah, put Cordelia on the Warhammer for Kojo. I don't like Kojo. Um, but I already said that. Here, talking about God, there's still a play. There's still a player called God in in that alliance or in that gang. Um, a lot of people whales. <laughs> yeah, um, there are a lot of whales in our the, in our server as well. I'm not one of them, but uh, yeah. If you want to spend the the amount of money, just do it. I'm not gonna judge you or anything. If you if that's how you're, uh, uh, if that if you have the budget to do it, do it. Uh, it's keeping the game afloat, so uh, I'm not gonna be complaining about uh, whales. But in this game, whales aren't as strong as other games I've played before. In, in I've I've had uh, whales that were just unbeatable on, on other games. Um, but for me, whales are just uh, you have to have several people attacking because otherwise. 
um, it's not gonna be uh, the whales gonna in one v one the whales always gonna be defeating you. But if you have ten players and you're going at him with ten v one, then you can still beat him. And in this game, it is possible to go ten v one if you have the amount of people online to do that. Yeah, do that. Uh, Raymond Long is saying hi, Bob. Hi, Raymond. How are you doing? For Warhammer skill roll, which is best in the slot? Um, yeah, try to figure out what you want to do with the build. Because... Uh, you, you can't... No, no, I can't change my flagship. I know that. I know that. Uh, that menu. I was looking at the different... I was looking at the wrong menu. Um, in this case, this skill can't be honed. So, uh, I was trying to use this skill. That means that I wanted to have as high impact as possible. So that would mean that I would use uh, increase ship's impact, reduce armor, that's the downside, but increase ship impact. Increase the ship's impact. So with these two skills, I'm helping this skill. And that's what I've been doing. So that's what I'm rolling, that's what I was rolling for. Um, but uh, yeah, I got myself a new Warhammer today so it's fresh, it's new, it's it's shiny, it still has this new car smell. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's still it, it doesn't it doesn't smell like old rum yet. Let's just say that. Um, <laughs> and I haven't tried to do anything on it. I think that crit rate is is a good one, so I probably will be keeping this. Increased cutthroat damage is also a good one, so I'll probably be keeping that. And deal 7% more damage of all types. I might be trying to hone that one out. But 7% more damage of all types is not good, is not a bad one. So yeah, I, I, I might be keeping it as it is right now. So yeah. Um, uh, shotgun damage. What are we doing? Ah, oh, they're killing at 58. I'm gonna, no, I'm... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a min-maxing type of guy, so I want to have 60s. I want to be killing 60s. There's one. Let's get to that one. Um, shotgun weapons, does it work against one fleet with, for example, Lester power that hits five ships? Or does splash damage require multiple fleets? I don't know what splash... Yeah, I, I've, I've read the term splash damage in the game as well, but I don't know... So what splash damage actually um, means they have it yeah it i don't i can't answer that orange i don't know the answer for that my apologies i i just don't know um i hope i'm hoping that we eventually will be getting that information as well but uh yeah i like the fact that um, I have five ships doing that damage. Uh, the re the reason why I like that Lester is attacking uh, three ships and Tanaka is attacking five ships at most. Yeah, I need the Abacus harder. Yeah, but th then I need to have some information to use on the Abacus Orange. Um, but I like the fact that this does that because it puts two stacks uh, of burning on it and I the trinket here triggers off of when you have 50 when you have done 15 stacks of uh, burning so if you're doing multiple if you're attacking multiple ships you're getting this 15 sooner so then this skill will trigger earlier so that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking so I really like this uh, 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 this one for adding, adding on to uh, my already uh, existing heroes. I wonder if it will help with the drop in damage for those skills. Yes, because if it, I, I want, I want that, I want that trinket to trigger. I want that skill to trinket to trigger. It, or does it mean fifteen on one ship? No. Um, when the ship under the wielder's command inflicts fifteen. Uh, inflicts burning effect 15 times so that doesn't mean on one ship it just if it has inflicted burning effect 15 times then it will trigger and that's how i'm reading it because this also does do 
attack five times. And as the number of targets increases, the damage will decrease. Yes. So if you're attacking more targets, then yes, the, the damage will decrease. But you're still doing damage. I'm I'm curious what there there are more than one place where it says if you're attacking more than one target, the damage will decrease. But I'm I'm very curious in what that actually means. How much is it decreasing? How much is it actually? Did someone just kill the monster I was going for? <laughs> Probably. Right? No. Oh, there are more. They changed. Um, they just despawned. Um, yeah. So that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. So. Um, I am going to be saying that I'm kind of having a sore throat right now. Uh, I've been talking a lot. Um, I think I've ha handled everything that I've gotten. If anyone still has questions, please add them in chat or otherwise uh, I'll be uh, 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 starting to uh, to wind down the stream in a couple of minutes. So if anyone has still has questions, please ask them now uh, or otherwise wait for next week because next week I'll be back in uh, two and a half hours earlier. That's 2 p.m. UTC. Uh, I will be back. It's a holiday for us, so I don't know how it's going to be going. If there's any um, uh, any any changes, uh, I will let uh, know on the community or on Discords. Um, but I think I'm just going to be here next week. Uh, I don't care that there's uh, that there's a, that there's a holiday I'm not celebrating in uh, in in my country. So uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, well, uh, I'm probably going to be here. Um, unless my girlfriend makes plans and I have to be there. Um, but uh, otherwise, I'll just be here. So, um, two and a half hours earlier than we're at right now is going to be in that uh, for your time zone. Um, yeah, and then just uh, uh, I'm going to be here. If you. Uh, no, I'm not going to be streaming the SOC this event. And do you have a Discord server? No, Dom, I don't have a Discord server. But I, there is this server, which is uh, um, Emrys. <laughs> Emrys is also on there. Uh, it's it's mostly his, his server as well. Um, and uh, there's an info server. Uh, it has screenshots of everything that you can have on there. Uh, I don't have a Discord server myself, but I usually post messages on there. Um, a couple of people asking questions, a couple of people answering questions. Um, and every information that you can can just have that's going to be in there. Uh, Emrys is uh, saying, as far as I know, the splashing damage activates when you're fighting more than one fleet. It is an uh, it is uh, is an auto attack that damages one target and has X percentage chance to splash the near target. That's the most descriptive thing I've been able to get from the devs about the splashing damage. So it's no, no, it's not splashing damage won't be useful, useful in a 1v1. That's yeah. So you're only going to be using that if, if you're getting attacked by more than one. So that's, that's kind of a whale thing, right? If, if the only way a whale is going to be defeated is by attacking with five or 10 ships, then that will focusing on splashing damage would, um, would trigger because it's being attacked by more than one ship. Yeah. Um, awesome mate, thanks for all the information. No problem Dom, if you have any more questions just let me know. Um, you, can, uh, you can ask them in the Discord or uh, I'll, I'll, might, I might be able to answer. Um, Orange is saying smart. Yeah, I, <laughs> I may not have... Um, I'm hoping that no whales are actually listening. Um, so, <laughs> so they're not using that against them. Stop giving whales tips. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Orange. I don't, I don't want to be giving whales tips. Uh, not if they're using it against me. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to be doing that. But uh, I am going to be ending the stream right now. Uh, thank you all for being here. Um, <laughs> so splashing damage, huh? yeah, cryonics. Are you a whale? <laughs> Um, I am going to be ending the stream. Uh, thank you all for being here. Um, I'll be back next week. And I'll, be ha I'll have a video out later today or maybe in the beginning of tomorrow. Um, so subscribe so you're not missing out on that. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Scryonic saying. Um, yeah. So that's, that's a yes. Um, he could be. Like, like, 
uh, like uh, uh, Fun Plus saying uh, all the description that has could. He could be a whale. He could not be a whale. We never know. Um, thanks, Orange. Uh, I love you guys as well. It's it's great for all the for all the support I'm getting. I I, I love doing this these streams um, and all of the people that are in here. Um, yeah, it's it's I, I really enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy being here with you guys um yeah so uh, i'll see you in the next video or in the next stream uh, look out for the next video subscribe uh, so you don't miss uh, out on the notification for that next video uh, please leave a like on the on this uh, stream as well so we can actually um uh, so we can actually push the the stream out and the information out to as many people as possible because i want to be informing as many people as i can and if i grow big enough fun plus will have to recognize me and they will have to answer my questions as well, and not only the answer the questions of the VIPs. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping for <laughs> to be big enough that they can't go that they that they'll have to uh, answer my questions as well. Um, but otherwise, I'll be seeing you in the next video or in the next live stream, and uh, I wish you all a happy sailing.